or for the second consecutive year. The Prime Minister has declared January 23rd Families of All Murdered Victims Day, a significant one also marking the birthday of the organization's founder. As our Cleopatra Murphy tells us, today's service marked by a mother sharing the pain of losing her son less than a year ago. I can't even say it. it's hard. I cry every day for my son, every day. Her face stained with tears, Lorette Lockhart recalled the last time she saw her son Lazaro Tristan Thompson, a father of six before he was gunned down off Soldier Road in May 2023. He, he visit my house the same day he died. Every Sunday, my, all of my kids come by my house for dinner. And shortly after he left, he got killed. Nearly eight months since his death, the grieving mother admits the loss is not getting any easier to bear and it has taken a toll on her family, particularly her daughter who was close to Lazaro. Lockhart was one of many family members mourning the lives of their loved ones whose lives were cut short by murder, but who also sought solace in each other during a service on Tuesday in recognition of family of all murdered victims day. With 17 murders already recorded this year and no stranger to loss herself, having lost two brothers killed eight months apart, President of Families of All Murdered Victims Candy Gibson says she felt it important to show that the deceased families continue to mourn. There's never no time free him in grieving when Andrew got killed. I cried every day to work and I was working up a tackle at the time every day. When Kana Ochi got killed, I cried two months and the next month phone started. So I want to let persons know that to bear with us, to stay um, whole hands and pray with us. It's not easy being, in love, being having a loved one murdered. And I want to also say this. Um, I want to give words of encouragement to a person who would have lost a loved one. When you lose your loved one, stay off social media. Okay? Social media does not know your diamond. Wife of the Prime Minister, Anne-Marie Davis, was on hand to support the families as they celebrated the lives of their diamonds, as Gibson calls them. Unsettled by what she says is a disheartening uptick in crime, Davis says a collective response is even more urgent and the commitment must be unwavering. Each number represents not just a statistic, but a life. A life that was a friend, a sibling, a parent, son, Daughter, imagine the daughters and members of our shared society. Also disturbed by the tide of violence, a local pastor believes the church can play a greater role in filling the gap where he says many young men have lost their way. If we have a problem in the house, we have a problem in the community. And when we have a problem in the community, it pours over into the nation. And so I believe that. Um, a lot of churches need to go back to Sunday school. We need to get these kids in Sunday school. What they don't get out of school, they could get in the church. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zedanas.